Gek Su Han saw the wound in a hurry like that and did not wait any longer, immediately telling the few people behind him, you three go over there and take a look. The other three quickly went over to see the situation. Ling Ki looked at the young man lying motionless on the stretcher, struggling to breathe, and began to examine him closely. He was startled to see the wound on the young man's abdomen. Where did this wound come from? Could it be from a fight? Although the bleeding had been controlled, it seemed to be opening up again. The woman heard Lin Qi's question and suddenly became unjustifiably angry. Are you still asking me? Hurry and call the director here. Tell him to operate on my son right away. Lin Qi looked at the woman shouting and helplessly said. He pointed at the man lying on the stretcher and emphasized again. This is a knife wound. It just needs to be stitched up. No surgery is needed and we don't need the director. The woman paid no attention, pushed Lin Qi aside and yelled loudly. How old are you? You have no experience. What right do you have to treat my son? Lin Qi had to remain silent while the woman continued to exert pressure. Suddenly, Zhu Zikian confidently patted his chest and said to her, Excuse me, I am a clinical medical doctor at Fudan University, and I am qualified to handle your son's case. The woman crossed her arms and raised her chin. So what if you're a doctor? I am the director of the Department of Construction. If anything unexpected happens, will you take responsibility? Upon hearing this, Zhu Zikian changed his attitude, sweating profusely in the summer weather. This... It seems he was in trouble this time. Xu Han looked at him and asked, Can you do it? Xu Ziqing tried to find an excuse. Director Lai, my current skill level is limited and I cannot stitch this wound. Knowing he was just making excuses, Xu Han turned to Lin Qi. Xu Han and Chao Xin were equally surprised when they heard Lin Qi say such words. She angrily pointed at Lin Qi. Why are you saying this? What kind of doctor are you? I will file a complaint against you. Lin Qi did not argue back and let her curse. Su Han could no longer hold back and held up her doctor's badge. I am Chief Lai. If you agree, I will perform this suture. If not, then transfer him immediately because the director is not here. Seeing Su Han's seriousness, the woman gritted her teeth and accepted. Then go ahead, but if it's not successful, don't expect to be at peace with me. The young man was quickly taken to the emergency room. Su Han pulled the other three along to gain more experience. Suddenly, Zhu Ziking said to Xu Han, Chief Lai, let me be your assistant. With my ability and skills, I will definitely coordinate well. Xu Han looked at Zhu Ziking with annoyance. A simple suture like that, and you're not even confident, yet you dare to say you have skills. Step aside. Xu Han ignored Zhu Ziking from then on. Zhu Ziking blushed deeply after hearing these words. Xu Han turned to Lin Qi and Chao Xin. You two are my assistants. Both nodded in understanding. After a while, the suturing work was halfway done. Xu Han looked at Lin Qi. The muscles and fat have been stitched back together. You can check the subcutaneous layer and the skin. Lin Qi replied, All right. He got to work. His suturing technique was excellent and quick, and soon it was almost done, causing Chao Xin to exclaim, Lin, your stitches are so beautiful. Lin Qi continued to the final step, and the operating room fell silent while Xu Han stood by observing, secretly marveling. Looking at how he handled the wound, he must have at least over 10 years of clinical experience. A doctor behind commented, I think it's just average. Xu Han was at a loss for words upon hearing that. The surgery concluded and the nurses pushed the patient out. The mother immediately rushed over, anxiously asking, How is it? Seeing the bandage on her son's body, she was taken aback. Pointing at the freshly stitched wound, she shouted angrily, What kind of stitching is this? It will definitely leave a huge scar. Like Xu Han, Lin Qi, and the doctor behind them were startled upon hearing that as they stepped out of the operating room. Xu Han gently explained, with a wound, there will naturally be a scar that's completely normal. Moreover, with such a large wound, how could there not be a scar? The angry mother pointed directly at her face and shouted loudly, Do you think I'm wasting my time rolling around in Zhanghai? Do you think that with just one phone call, both of you will be dismissed immediately? Lin Qi, seeing that she was becoming more and more unreasonable, immediately stepped in with a sneer. Then let's wait and see who will be dismissed first. The woman, feeling her sore spot was touched, instantly raised her phone and shouted furiously. You wait here for a moment, I will call my child's father. This matter must be dealt with seriously. Watching her leave, a doctor awkwardly picked up the phone and asked, Director Lai, Mr. Lin, what should we do now? Lin Ki calmly replied, Earlier I saw you were recording a video, right? The other person answered worriedly, Yes, that's right. She was so aggressive, so I recorded a video as evidence, but I don't know if it will be useful. Lin Ki... Hearing this, cheerfully said, send the video to me. In a quiet corner of the hospital, a person dressed in surgical scrubs was watching their phone. On the screen was a message from Lin Qi. 
It seems the director of the construction department is causing trouble at the hospital. Take care of it, the person replied with just a thumbs up emoji. In another quiet corner of the staircase, a surgeon was on the phone. Hey, there's been a problem in the emergency room. That kid Lin Ki was stitching up a patient's wound, and as a result, the family is dissatisfied and has filed a complaint against us. The voice on the other end responded, I know about this already. You and Director Zhao go over there immediately. The caller was none other than Zhu Ziking. He hung up the phone and smiled slyly. Director Zhao has a very hot temper. If Lin Ki runs into him, he will definitely be fired from the hospital. In the office, Lin Ki was sitting at the desk next to Kao Xin. In front of them, Lai Xu Han was holding a cup of hot water. Suddenly, someone walked in. Upon seeing the newcomer, Lai Xu Han spoke up. Director Zhao. Director Zhao and another person appeared with tense expressions. The man beside him immediately began to scold. Director Lai, what is going on? Why is there such a commotion in front of the emergency room? How could you allow a new doctor to perform such a major surgery? Lai Xu Han angrily retorted. We had no other choice where the patient's family was yelling irrationally. Besides, I don't think this surgery was that major. The man became even angrier. Director Zhao, for the hospital's reputation, I think we should fire him immediately. Director Zhao calmly approached Lin Qi and said, Show me the patient's file. I need to understand the situation first. The man was startled and exclaimed, Director Zhao, it's all clear now. It's just a new doctor. We can hire again. Suddenly, the door burst open and the mother from before rushed in with a face of utter terror, shouting, Chief Lai, I know I was wrong. This scene startled everyone in the room. The man who had been aggressive just moments ago turned pale with fear. The mother approached, clinging to Lai Xu Han's hand, pleading, Please give me one more chance. If I lose this job, I'm finished. Lai Xu Han suddenly recalled Lin Qi confidently saying, Then let's wait and see who will be dismissed first. She turned her head and saw Lin Qi calmly sitting at the desk, resting her chin on her hand with a knowing smile. The woman continued to cry, Chief Lai, please give me a chance to apologize. My husband has already been fired. How is my family going to survive? Lai Xu Han was taken aback upon hearing this. At that moment, the hospital security team arrived in time to pull her out. Zhao Jianwei turned and said, Ma'am, I think there is some misunderstanding in this matter. I hope you leave immediately and do not disrupt our daily work. He turned back to everyone and said, This matter today must not be disclosed outside. Let everything pass. I don't see any significant issues in this medical case. At that moment, the system suddenly appeared. Ling Wai in a pink nurse outfit appeared with a bright smile. The system announced, Successfully treated a patient. Reward. 100,000 proficiency points, career completion progress, 10% great master level suturing skill reward. Ling Qi just smiled slightly. He gently lifted Ling Wai's chin and the atmosphere became incredibly romantic. He spoke, System, this great master level suturing skill must be very impressive, right? Ling Wai blushed and replied, That's right. Before this, you only had basic skills, but now it's top-notch professional capability in the world. Suddenly, Lai Xu Han appeared behind him and asked, Lin Qi, what are you doing? Lin Qi was startled, gently turned around and smiled. Director Lai, is there something you need from me? Lai Xu Han continued, Get ready, I will give you a test. Chao Xin looked surprised. No way. You want to test him on nerve and blood vessel suturing skills. Usually, at least five years of experience is needed to suture these. Lai Xu Han calmly ordered, you go to the equipment room and bring an electron microscope here. Chao Xin obediently replied, Yes, ma'am. After a few minutes, Chao Xin hurriedly ran in and said, Teacher Lai, the equipment room said that the electron microscope is malfunctioning and the new backup equipment hasn't arrived yet. She continued, Today, I'm afraid I won't be able to perform the nerve and blood vessel suturing procedure. Lai Xu Han replied, Then we can wait until the electron microscope is available to perform the examination. At that moment, Lin Qi raised his hand to his mouth, cleared his throat a few times, and confidently said, Director, actually, we don't need the electron microscope. Xiao Xin, you can go and get a regular microscope. That will be enough for me to work. Hearing this, the other two were taken aback. Zhu Ziking hurriedly stuck his head up to look. Lai Xu Han seemed to not believe his ears and quickly asked, What did you say? Can you suit your nerves and blood vessels with a regular microscope? Lin Qi calmly replied, Almost, we can give it a try. Anyway, it's just a tool. If it doesn't work, nobody will die. Zhu Ziking angrily pointed at his face. Lin Ke, are you being overly confident? Lin Ke teased with a smile. Someone like you wouldn't understand the skills of a master. Zhu Ziking, hearing this, became furious and radiated killing intent. Lai Xu Han pondered for a moment and then said, If that's the case, let you handle the examination. After all, the specimen isn't worth much. 
Chao Xin, go get it. Chao Xin happily replied, yes, sir. Just a moment later, the microscope was brought in. Everyone's eyes were turned towards Lin Qi with anticipation. Like Su Han said, the equipment is here, let's begin. Lin Qi gently replied, okay. His movements were incredibly swift and skillful. After a while, he removed his mask, breathed a sigh of relief, and said, it's done, it's fine. The other three were stunned by his speed. Like Su Han asked in confusion, what? Is it done already? She looked at the sample in front of her, unable to help but marvel in her mind. He really has reconnected everything properly, with no mistakes at all. The stitches are tidy, the threads are delicate. The most important thing is that he only used a regular microscope. She turned to ask, how did you do it? Lin Qi confidently replied, just one stitch after another. He then asked, Director Lai, have I passed the test? Lai Xu Han, deep in thought, said nothing. She turned abruptly and said, you've passed. Starting today, you'll be my assistant. When there's a surgery, I'll take you along. Chao Xin looked at him with bright eyes. Teacher Lin, you're amazing. Xu Ziqing, standing behind, had a jealous expression on his face. He must have been practicing secretly. What is there to be proud of? The clock was nearing 12 o'clock. Lin Qi held his phone, his eyes directed towards Lai Xu Han. He focused on his phone, where a message appeared. At that moment, Lai Xu Han approached him with a stack of documents and spoke. Take a look. I have a very important surgery tomorrow. I have simulated this process many times, but the risks of the postoperative sutures are too high. I want to hear your opinion. He examined the documents and replied, With your skills, Director Lai, can't you handle this? Lai Xu Han sighed helplessly. The risks come from two aspects. One is the condition of the patient, the other is the identity of the counterpart. Lin K, upon hearing this, turned to ask, the identity of the patient is, just then, there was a knock at the door. The person who entered was Duan Pang. He called out to Director Lai. Lai Xu Han turned around inquiringly. What does Director Duan need from me? Duan Pang came in with two bags of food, cheerfully saying, it's lunchtime and I was worried you hadn't eaten, so I brought some food. Lai Xu Han replied nonchalantly, no need, Dr. Lin has already ordered food from outside. We will eat together today, thank you. Hearing this, Duan Peng's mood immediately soured. He turned to look at Lin Qi with disdain, thinking, Who is this person showing up here? However, Duan Peng didn't give up and continued to smile brightly, holding up the two bags of food. The food from outside can't be as nutritious as what I've brought, right? I brought roast duck, pig's trotters, beef bone soup, and... Suddenly, the door opened. A neatly dressed staff member walked in and respectfully said, Mr. Lin, the food you ordered has arrived. Following her were several beautiful female staff members carrying platters of exquisite dishes. The dishes were laid out, each one luxurious and visually appealing. The staff member continued to introduce, This is the best quality abalone, fresh Australian lobster, bluefin tuna sashimi, Russian sturgeon caviar, and Australian M3 beef steak. An extravagant banquet appeared, surprising both Lin Qi and Duan Pang. Lin Qi sighed awkwardly. I just asked for a simple lunch, but the butler arranged such a lavish spread. The butler, standing behind, chuckled quietly. A lineup like this is befitting a boss Lin's status. Lai Xu Han pointed at the dining table and turned to Duan Peng, saying, Director Duan, as you can see, Dr. Lin ordered a bit too much. I sincerely appreciate your kindness. Duan Peng's face fell, and he stammered in reply. All right, I won't disturb you two anymore. He left in humiliation and haste. Lin Qi held a folder calmly and took a sip of water. Let's continue discussing the topic we were on. Who needs surgery tomorrow? The two words that came from Lai Xu Han's mouth left Duan Peng stunned. Senior leaders. Lin Qi's eyes lit up as he asked, Really? Is it someone from the military? Lai Xu Han picked up a piece of food and replied, Of course it's true. Tomorrow I will be the assistant and the director and deputy director will perform the surgery. The rest will be mine. The stitching is what worries me the most. She then pointed at the photo in the document. Look at the heart position. The hardest part is where the artery is dilated. Above it are two very thick layers. Lin Qi pondered seriously. This maneuver is very difficult. If there's any vibration, the blood pressure will increase suddenly within a minute and the patient will die. Moreover, previous records show that the patient's weight is over 180 pounds, adding to the difficulty of the surgery. Lai Xu Han saw that Lin Qi was indeed talented and her face brightened. Ah, prepare a treatment plan for me. She gently set her chopsticks down on the table. I want to see what your thoughts are. The patient is very special, and we can't invite foreign doctors to perform the surgery, so I think I will let you try. Lin Qi stood up seriously and replied, Okay, I will prepare the plan. If you find it suitable, feel free to use it. Lai Su Han, chewing her food, suddenly asked, Aren't you eating? 
Link Key smiled and left. I'm not eating. I'll prepare the report first. Six hours later, the hospital was still brightly lit. Link Key was furiously typing on the computer, tiredly stretching. Suddenly, the door opened and a familiar figure walked in. None other than Lai Su Han. She approached and called out to him. Ling Ki. She spoke to Ling Ki, who was still sitting at the desk. You don't need to write the report tonight. Go home early. Ling Ki confidently raised three fingers. It's finished. Lai Su Han immediately responded in surprise. Finished. She approached and shouted in his face, looking angry. Are you kidding me? The beautiful and alluring figure of Lai Su Han leaned against Ling Ki's back, looking at the report in front of him. Did you complete this all by yourself? Ling Ki happily replied, Of course, besides me in this room, could there be any other ghost? Lai Su Han was very pleased with Ling Ki's work and said cheerfully, This report is very feasible. You can go home and rest now. Upon hearing this, Ling Ki gently stood up, took off his white coat, and left happily. He turned around and smiled to thank Director Lai. At a luxurious hotel, Ling Ki's phone suddenly rang. He answered the call and a voice came from the other end, Mr. Lin, should I call you Boss Lin or Manager Lin? If it weren't for my habit of researching partner information on the Diane Sian website, I still wouldn't have known about your partnership with my brother. Ling Ki found the other person's words a bit unpleasant and replied, Miss Cow, I am just a figurehead. Moreover, my side job is currently very busy. I am now a cardiac surgeon at Hua Shan Hospital. If Miss Cow has any health issues, feel free to call me. I'm hanging up now, goodbye. He looked at his phone screen deep in thought for a long while. Then he sent a message to Hee Yun Yuan. There is a website called DNAN, which specializes in looking up information about business owners. Find someone to hack into that website and temporarily change the legal name of Lang Yun Corporation to Kin Han. He Yuvin Yuan replied with three question marks and sent another message. I understand. In a luxurious room, a man in a position of power was having an embarrassing moment with his mistress. The room was filled with unpleasant sounds. Suddenly, the door swung open. Cao Jing Chu walked in, her face flushed with embarrassment at the sight before her. The man immediately fumbled to stand up and shouted, Jing Chu, why are you here? You didn't even knock before coming in. The mistress also shyly covered her face. Jing Chu spoke up, her tone serious. I came here to tell you one thing. End things with Metroing immediately. Do it right away. Boss Cao, upon hearing this, angrily pointed at her face. What nonsense are you talking about? Do you have any idea how much effort I put into getting Metroing? Cao Jing Chu replied, I know this is difficult, but to avoid unnecessary losses, it must stop immediately. Boss Cao was instantly flustered. No way. If we stop, the one who will suffer the most is me. Cao Jing Chu crossed her arms and said seriously, I found out information about your partner. His name is Lin Qi, but he is definitely not an ordinary person. Boss Cao sat down and nodded. You are right. Lin Qi is indeed not an ordinary person. If you were, I wouldn't have to work so hard to get Metrong under control. Cao Jing Tzu could no longer bear it and shouted angrily, Do you know his true identity? He is the hidden boss behind Lang Yun Corporation. He is definitely not an ordinary person. Both Boss Cao and Jia Meng beside him were taken aback. No way. He is just a money-loving playboy. Boss Cao immediately ordered, Jia Meng, hurry up and look up information about Lang Yun Corporation right now. Jia Meng quickly responded, Yes, sir. Jia Meng's hands swiftly typed on the keyboard to search. The results shocked Boss Cao. He angrily glared at Jing Xu. I am very disappointed in you. Boss Cao raised the computer, startling Jing Xu. The screen displayed information about Lang Yun Corporation, with the legal entity being Kin Han. Jing Xu stuttered with many questions in her mind. How? Is this possible? I checked this afternoon, and it was Lin Qi. The hidden boss of Lang Yun Corporation is Lin Qi. I'm very sure about that. Boss Cao furiously slammed the laptop down pointing at Jing Chu with a dangerous expression and uttering threatening words. My dear sister, I am seriously suspicious of your motives. Jing Chu was startled, unable to believe the information just revealed. In less than an hour, how could it have changed to someone else? How formidable can this Lin Qi be? She angrily replied, I set up my own company and have never thought of inheriting the Cao family's business. I only want to do my best to protect the Cao family. Boss Cao maintained a dangerous expression and said, protect. Why pretend any longer? You were trying to ruin my work results, causing my father to have a prejudice against me, and using this to elevate your status in the family. Jing Chu was so furious that she trembled, grinding her teeth as she said, At this point, I have nothing more to say. It's up to you. She coldly turned on her heel and walked away, her face ashen, with Boss Kao's sneer behind her. In her heart, she thought, You people will eventually be toyed with by Lin Qi, 
until you were done for. At the hospital, Lin Qi noticed a noisy crowd in a corner. Like Su Han saw him and spoke up. Finally, you're here. She approached him and reminded, I have to go to surgery now. Don't run around. Remember to keep your phone on. Lin Qi smiled and replied, Got it. The scene shifted to the meeting room. Inside, doctors were gathered, discussing passionately. An older doctor spoke up. Earlier, we discussed eight types of potential dangers. Among them, the greatest danger is reconnecting the artificial blood vessels. The director of Huoshan Hospital, Miao Gofeng, asked, Mr. Duan, is there no way to handle this issue? Mr. Duan, the head of the surgical department and father of Duan Peng, confidently folded his arms and replied, It can be done. I have the capability to handle it. He also asserted that I have minimized the risk to its lowest point. Throughout this entire country, even if my teacher from back then were to come here, their level would only be this much. Rest assured, leadership. Hearing Duan Yongshun's response, Director Miao Gofeng nodded in satisfaction and stood up to decide. All right, at present, there are no issues in any aspect. The operating rooms should prepare. The surgery will proceed in 30 minutes. At this moment, Lai Suhan suddenly stood up to voice her opinion. Wait, I feel that the reconnecting plan has some issues. The two people in military uniforms remained silent and nodded slightly at this. Upon hearing dissent, Duan Yongchun immediately became angry and questioned. The reconnecting plan has issues. Director Lai, what problems do you perceive in that plan? Are you doubting my experience and capability? Lai Suhan calmly presented a document. This is a plan written by Dr. Lin Qi from our cardiac surgery department. I believe this one is more feasible, as it can reduce the risk by at least 20%. Duan Yongchun felt extremely displeased and asked, Lin Qi, he just started yesterday. The plan he created has no value whatsoever. Director Lai, are you joking? Director Miao Gofeng, hearing that Lin Qi just started, was also concerned and raised his glasses to read the plan. Written by an intern doctor. Lai Suhan immediately turned on the presentation switch and confidently stated, In this report, there are a total of 14 types of reconnection abilities presented, even the dangers we haven't thought of before are mentioned. Furthermore, I believe Lin Qi is qualified to be my assistant in the operating room. Her words caused the entire room to fall silent. Duan Yongshan angrily slammed the table and stood up. What nonsense. Just because he performed a relatively excellent emergency surgery yesterday, you think he has the capability? Director Miao Gofeng turned to the two men in military uniforms and asked for their opinions. Do you have any comments? One person, saluting, replied, Director Miao, in this regard, you are the expert. We all follow your decision. Upon hearing this, Miao Gofeng frowned and fell silent for a moment as if pondering something. Finally, he said, then bring Lin Qi into the operating room, but only to observe he is not to assist that will be the decision. The surgery will start in 30 minutes. Even achieving this made Lai Suhan very happy. Then they gradually walked outside. Lai Ru Yu had been waiting outside and stopped a person in military uniform to ask, How is the situation? Why are you only coming out now? Is the dangerous aspect they mentioned very serious? The person honestly reported. There was a bit of debate during the decisive phase. Our director Lai said that the danger has been reduced to the lowest level. Throughout the entire country, only our place has handled it properly. Hearing this, Liang Ru Yu still felt anxious. Based on the current situation, they could only take things step by step. The scene shifted to another place. A woman rushed up to Lin Qi yelling, Doctor, doctor. She was holding her stomach and crying. Doctor, please examine me quickly. My stomach hurts so much I could die. Lin Qi, seeing her interrupt, said, What are you doing? Wait for me to finish writing this prescription for this person first, that I'll examine you right away. But the woman aggressively pushed the person sitting in front away and snapped. Why are you still writing a prescription? Hurry up and examine me. Just by looking, it's clear he has no illness. Hurry up, don't stop me from getting treated. Lin Qi frowned and grew serious. The person who had been cut in line kindly said, Doctor, I have remembered everything you asked me to pay attention to. Please examine this lady first. Lin Qi had no choice but to say, Okay, sit down. Please give me your medical card. Hearing this, she was taken aback and awkwardly replied, Medical card? I don't have one. There were two in people lining up at the entrance I couldn't register. Please examine me first and we can deal with the rest later. Lin Qi waved his hand and pointed directly at her, speaking sternly. Without a medical card, go outside and register. Her face turned dark, fearful, and she hurriedly walked out of the clinic. Lin Qi called the next person in. This time, a beautiful girl with a somewhat shy expression walked in. Lin Qi followed the procedure and asked, First, please describe your symptoms. Where do you feel uncomfortable? The girl seemed eager and asked, Doctor, can I talk to you about this? Can I have a female doctor examine me? Lin Qi keenly noticed. 
Do you want to discuss a gynecological issue? The girl nodded shyly. Yes, that's right. Chao Sin, standing next to Lin Qi, explained. Actually, the sensitive parts in the doctor's eyes are just normal organs. Dr. Lin's skill level is higher than mine, so just speak plainly. Don't let the condition drag on. It's not good for your health. Hearing this, the beautiful girl fell silent, as if struggling with her thoughts. Finally, she murmured, Well, that area hurts a lot. Lin Qi and Chao Xin nodded encouragingly. Speak a little louder. I didn't hear you clearly. The girl's face turned red. That area is too sensitive. Chao Xin, understanding the patient's meaning as a girl herself, gently said, Is your body too sensitive? The girl shyly confirmed, Ah, after much hesitation, Lin Qi couldn't help but feel speechless and sighed. He then pulled the curtain clothes, put on a mask and gloves and said, Please place your feet on the support. The girl slowly closed her eyes, lay down on the bed, and trembled slightly as she felt Lin Qi's gentle touches. Then, unable to hold back, she let out a soft moan. Lin Qi checked and seeing her discomfort said awkwardly, Don't moan too loudly. A little later, the girl blushed and lay unconscious on the bed. Chao Xin approached and asked, Lin, how should I write this medical examination paper? Lin Qi hesitated for a moment and jokingly replied, Use a lufa to do it. Chao Xin burst out laughing, nearly spitting out water. Lin, you are so calm. You must have experienced this many times before, right? I have a good suggestion. Do you want to discuss it? Upon hearing this, Lin Qi immediately nodded and smiled. Sure, that's great, Chao Xin. I feel like we really are perfect partner duo. If I ever organize a competition, I will definitely ask you to be the leader. Xiao Xin's face turned red and she replied, Ah, Lin, I was just saying casually. Suddenly, Lin Qi's phone vibrated. It was a call from Lai Xu Han. As soon as Lin Qi answered, he heard Lai Xu Han instruct. Lin Qi, get up to the 13th floor of the department now. There's surgery soon and you'll be my assistant. Hurry up. He looked at the phone now disconnected, filled with doubt. Is it really for me? Lin Qi didn't forget to turn to Chao Xin and inform her. Director Lai is looking for me about something. I'll leave the medical examination to you. Chao Xin nodded in response. The elevator quickly took Lin Qi to the 13th floor. He stepped out and immediately encountered Lai and Ru Yu standing with her arms crossed in front of the room. She asked in surprise, Why are you here? Lin Qi, confident and smiling, introduced himself. I am Lin Qi, a cardiovascular surgeon and also the assistant of Director Lai. What? This news struck Lying Ru Yu like a bolt from the blue. Suddenly, a person appeared and asked, Sister, do you two know each other? Ru Yu turned to reply, Of course, his name is Lin Qi. The newcomer was one of the two in military uniform, named Gao Chang. He friendly introduced himself, So, you're Lin Qi. Nice to meet you. I'm Gao Chang. He approached and shook Lin Qi's hand, admiringly saying, Just now in the meeting, Director Lai used your anastomosis report to persuade President Miao. Ru Yu, listening beside them, was even more astonished, exclaiming, Were we just saying that the most difficult part of this surgery is the anastomosis? Did he really write that report? Gao Chao replied with a smile, I just sent the report to the military doctors for their review, and they rated Dr. Lin's skills very highly, really impressive. In her heart, lying Ru Yu was extremely anxious, thinking to herself, How many talents does this man really have? Suddenly, footsteps were heard. It was the group of President Miao and Lai Su Han approaching. Director Lai quickly walked towards the operating room, not forgetting to tell Lin Qi, Let's go, everything is ready. Now we will start the surgery. Lin Qi nodded seriously. All right. Suddenly, a hand grabbed Lin Qi's hand. Lai Ru Yu unexpectedly bowed her head. This surprised Lin Qi. She awkwardly pleaded, Please. Lin Qi understood and nodded affirmatively. This is a matter of life and death. I know my limits. Entering the sterilization dressing room, a doctor told Lin Qi, Although you're here as my assistant, you can only watch. You need to learn well. This is invaluable experience that money can't buy. He pulled on gloves and ominously warned, Don't faint from fear when the time comes. Lin Qi contemplatively followed the direction he was looking, and after a while, he met Director Lai, whispering into her ear, Director Lai, is Duan Peng the son of him? Soon after, the entire group entered the operating room, and the lights were turned on. The leader was lying on the table, deeply, in a comatose state. Dr. Miao signaled to begin the surgery. All the surgeons handling the main operation focused intently on their work, exchanging only occasional brief words. The chief surgeon started replacing blood vessels, opening the circulation device, and performing other tasks as required. Lin Qi stood outside, observing attentively. After the first surgery shift, Dr. Miao left, saying to Dr. Duan, Director Duan, it's all yours next. Dr. Duan nodded. Understood. 
Suddenly, Dr. Duan's face turned pale and he exclaimed, why is this happening? The blood vessels have been dilated and pressed together by other internal organs. Moreover, the blood vessel walls are too thin to be sutured. Dr. Miao was startled. What are you saying? Even your technique can't manage this. Dr. Duan interrupted, no one can do it. The blood vessels inside have adhered tightly to the axillary artery. As soon as I use the needle, blood will ooze out 100% and within less than a minute, the patient will lose all signs of life. Dr. Miao tried to find a glimmer of hope and asked, is there really no other option? Dr. Duan immediately denied, there is no other way. Looking across the country, no one can handle this. The operating room fell into silence. Finally, Dr. Miao had to speak. Let's end the surgery. Before leaving the operating room, he added, do your best to keep Mr. Yang alive for a few more days so he can pass on his final messages. That is the only thing we can do. Then he handed over to Dr. Lai. Proceed with the suturing. The rest is up to you. Dr. Lai nodded immediately. Understood. The operating room lights are still on. The doctors come out. Liang Ru Yu quickly rushes to ask Dean Miao. What is the result? Dean Miao's face is filled with sorrow. The patient's condition is very bad. The blood vessels are at a level where they cannot be sutured. If we attempt the surgery, there will be no chance of leaving the operating room. I'm sorry, we have done our best. Gao Chong suddenly shouts. What are you saying? His shout surprises both the doctors and Liang Ru Yu. Didn't you say in the meeting earlier that it could be treated? How did it come to this? Dean Biao and Director Duan bow their heads in apology. We have done everything we can. With the current medical level in Huaxia, no one can perform such a reconnective surgery. Damn it. Gao Chang pushes Dean Biao away and runs forward, ignoring Liang Ru Yu's shout from behind. Mr. Gao, please calm down. Just as Gao Chang is about to break down the operating room door, a voice calls from inside. Everyone out. The person inside shouts as if creating a miracle. The patient still has a chance to be saved. This statement leaves those outside in shock. Liang Ru Yu quickly steps forward to mediate. Let's go outside first. We can only place our trust in Dr. Lin. Chief Duan yelled loudly. We have no choice. Director Miao, let's go in and take a look. Gao Chao raised his fist to block the door, warning both of them. You stay outside. No one is allowed in. Chief Duan pointed at himself, angrily saying, We have the doctors in charge of this surgery. Gao Chao remained adamant in keeping the door closed, threatening. Whoever you are, it means nothing to me. If Dr. Lin doesn't speak up, I won't let anyone in there. Inside the operating room, Lin Qi said to Dr. Lai, I'm not sure if this method will succeed, but right now we have to try. Dr. Lai helplessly replied, This patient, I've run out of options. However, she looked at him with full hope. But if you say there's still a chance to save him, then I don't mind being your assistant. But if anything goes wrong, if you get kicked out, I'll go with you. Lin Qi winked at her, joking, I didn't expect you to trust me this much. He raised his hand, summoned a gold card from the system, and used the lucky card. A mechanical voice echoed. The lucky card has been activated. Duration is five minutes. Then came the countdown. Five minutes, four minutes, 59 seconds, four minutes, 58 seconds. Lin Qi turned to another doctor and ordered, activate extracorporeal circulation, start the aortic circulation. The other doctor replied, Dr. Lin, it's all activated. Lin Qi was very professional, assigning the task to Lai Xu Han. The patient has an above MoMA weight and needs two external circulations. Lai Xu Han quickly got to work. Got it. I'll do it right away. Lin Qi seriously proceeded with the surgery on the patient. The machinery continued the countdown. Two minutes, 28 seconds. Two minutes, 27 seconds. Sweat beaded on Lin Qi's forehead. Lai Xu Han noticed and brought a cotton swab to dab it for him. The countdown continued and the tension in the operating room was at its peak. Finally, at the last moment, when the countdown showed zero minutes, Lin Qi succeeded. He had protected the most difficult part for the patient thanks to a lucky card. Now only the routine procedures remained. After a long three hours, Lin Qi cut the excess thread, completing the suturing for the patient. Everyone finally breathed a sigh of relief. Lai Xu Han admiringly looked at him and said, You are really great. Outside the operating room, Lai Ru Yu was anxiously waiting and finally saw Lin Qi come out. She worriedly asked, how was the situation? Lin Qi brought good news. Don't worry, the surgery was very successful. The patient can live another 15 years without any issues. Yao Chong and Liang Ru Yu's mood relaxed at this point. They joyfully exclaimed, that's great. The operating room door opened and Lai Su Han pushed the patient out. Liang Ru Yu expressed her gratitude saying, Director Lai, thank you. Lai Su Han removed her mask and replied, you should thank Dr. Lin. He is the lead surgeon for this operation. I'm just the assistant. Hearing this, everyone stared in disbelief. He is the lead surgeon. 
Director Duan Yongchun exclaimed in disbelief, Impossible. What exactly happened? The blood vessels are so thin. How could they be sutured? Lai Han sighed helplessly and pointed to Lin Qi, who was standing tiredly yawning in the distance. If it weren't for him, today's surgery would not have succeeded so well. Gao Chong and Liang Ru Yu, upon hearing this, exchanged warning glances at Yang Kun. Both then chose not to argue with him anymore and happily took their relatives away. In the doctor's office, Lin Qi was standing in front of the computer. The robotic voice of the system announced, completed an extremely difficult surgery. Reward, 150,000 proficiency points. Professional proficiency, 25%. Reward, internal medicine pharmacopoeia. As soon as the announcement finished, a torrent of medical knowledge flooded into Lin Qi's mind, leaving him momentarily overwhelmed. Lin Qi felt dizzy and had to brace himself against the table. After a while, he slumped wearily into a chair. The knowledge in this ancient book is indeed vast. Lin Qi sighed. A nurse saw this and stepped forward to encourage him. Keep it up. Lin Qi looked at the system screen where the mission was displayed. Examine and treat 100 patients. Receive a reward of 100,000 proficiency points. Mission progress, 12 one hundredths. He sighed and comforted himself. It's not too difficult. With a number of patients at Huashan Hospital, I could complete the mission in three days. After saying that, Lin Qi slumped over the table and slowly fell asleep. Five hours later, as the sunset painted the sky, Lin Qi finally woke up. A thin blanket was left on him by someone. Ru Yu saw he was awake and immediately asked, Are you awake now? She showed her concern. Sleeping for five hours must be exhausting, right? Lin Qi yawned and waved his hand. Don't say anything more. I've never felt as tired as I do today. It's like I'm completely drained. Ru Yu pouted and exclaimed, Have you forgotten my identity? Can't you tone it down a bit? Lin Qi smiled. We're all friends here, so it's easier to talk. He folded the blanket and asked, Is this for me? On the table, there was a bowl of soup and two eggs. Lin Qi continued, You've been sitting here waiting for me. Is there something going on? He casually picked up an egg and took a bite. Ru Yu stood beside him, resting her chin on her hand, and gently said, There's nothing at all. I'm just waiting here to thank you for the surgery. Lin Qi heard this and suggested, If you really want to thank me, could you please sign some documents for me? Wait a moment, I'll print them out right away. He then went to the printer and a stack of documents was printed out. Lin Qi brought the stack of papers in front of Ru Yu. You just need to sign in the designated area. Ru Yu looked at the contents of the document, surprised. She looked up at Lin Qi. Is this the result of your research? If I sign here, you will benefit on the surface, but the one who benefits the most will be me. Lin Qi heard this, turned his head to look left and right. After confirming that there was no one else in the room besides the two of them, he leaned closer to Ru Yu and said, You have handed over the suburban project to Zhao Yang Group, and I have said I would help you for two years. That is a genuine promise. Ru Yu blushed slightly and replied, All right. Finally, she signed her name on the stack of documents. After leaving, Ru Yu did not forget to remind him. If there's anything, just call me. I will pay special attention to the Zhao Yang Group project. Lin Qi, while packing up the documents, responded. Okay. Meanwhile, Lin Qi had dressed neatly and was preparing to leave. Suddenly, Lai Su Han called him back. Have you had dinner yet? Would you like to go eat together? She smiled and said, I'll treat you. Lin Qi replied cheerfully, Sure, I wasn't very full earlier. From a distance, a person rushed over. It was Duan Peng panting as he spoke to Lai Su Han. I finally caught up with you. I just joined a supercar club, and there's an event tonight. Don't you like racing? Do you want to go together? Lai Su Han quickly declined Duan Peng and pointed at Lin Qi. I'm sorry, I already have a dinner appointment with Dr. Lin. Upon hearing this, Duan Peng's gaze turned cold as he looked at Lin Qi. He frowned in anger, but quickly hid his jealousy and smiled at Su Han. Tonight's event features the four most famous young masters of Zhang Hai. It's rare to have an opportunity to compete like this. Lin Qi wondered, which comedy group does the four famous young masters of Zhang Hai belong to? Duan Peng mocked, Ha ha, someone like you who knows nothing about cars probably wouldn't know. The four most famous young masters of Zhang Hai are Qin Han, Zhao Chen Yang, Fang Kinin, and Wu Qinyu. They are all super rich individuals from Zhang Hai. After hearing this, Lin Qi completely ignored Duan Peng and turned to Xu Han. Director Lai, if you like it, let's go watch. We can eat anytime. Lai Xu Han then invited Lin Qi to go watch together for fun, and Lin Qi quickly agreed since he was free. Duan Peng continued to speak, wanting to enlighten Lin Qi, but was completely ignored by the two. At the supercar club, Lin Qi and Lai Xu Han arrived and began to choose seats. Lai Xu Han pointed to the back row and said, 
There are still plenty of seats over there. Let's go sit there. Lin Ki protested. That place seems a bit far. I'm afraid you won't see clearly. He took Su Han's hand and said as they walked, Let's go to the repair area downstairs. Observing up close is much more interesting. Su Han was a bit surprised. Is it really okay to watch the competition here? Lin Ki firmly held Lai Su Han's hand and pulled her along. I've brought you here. Do you still think there's a problem? Suddenly, Xu Han's phone rang. It was Duan Peng calling. He asked, Director Lai, where are you? I'm waiting for both of you at the front door. Xu Han replied, Lin Qi and I are at the repair area in Zone A. Duan Peng was surprised to hear that because it was an ultra VIP area and they could get kicked out. He instructed her to wait for him and Sun to come over, then hung up. Like Xu Han sighed, he said we can't stay here to watch. He told us to go back. Lin Qi poured a glass of wine and said, Don't pay attention to him. I'm giving you this glass of wine. What I say goes. At that moment, Duan Pang rushed in and shouted, Director Lai, we need to go now. This is not a place we should be. Lai Xu Han rejected the idea of leaving. Dr. Lin said it's fine, and besides, I want to stay here and watch. Duan Pang was surprised and looked down on her. What does he know? The people who can be here all have assets worth over a billion dollars. He continued to ramble. Later, the four most famous young masters from Zhanghai will come here. They will definitely call to have you two thrown out. That would be really embarrassing. Lin Qi felt annoyed and replied coldly. That's our business. I don't need you to worry. At that moment, four supercars rushed in. One person got out of the car. It was Zhao Zhen Yang. Oh, it's Boss Lin. Why did you bring your new sister here to watch the competition? Suddenly, a red car stopped in front of Lin Qi. He recognized it as his own car. Kin Han got out of the car and waved. Lin, you actually came. Lin Qi replied, My friend likes watching car races, so I brought her here to watch. Duan Peng was amazed at the close relationship between Kin Han and Lin Qi. What status does Lin Qi have? How can he know Kin Han? Zhao Shenjiang stood with his arms crossed and said, We are here to race today, so you two will be considered a teen. Lin Ke, let's race a few laps. The loser must immediately leave the group of the four most famous young masters of Zhang Hai. Lin Qi smirked. If we are going to play, why are you betting on this? Have you run out of things to bet on? How about changing it up a bit for more fun? Loser burns one car of the loser. How about that? Dare you? Zhao Zhenyang and Qin Han were both surprised and the others widened their eyes after hearing Lin Qi's words. Zhao Zhenyang grinned slyly. This kind of betting is very interesting, but I feel sorry to see Lin Qi's car burned, so I suggest that the loser loses one car. He was extremely confident inside. If he won, then that limited edition sports car would belong to him immediately. Zhao Shenjiang then announced the rules again. Each team has four people. Kin Han proposed that he would team up with Lin Qi, while the other two would team up together. Zhao Shenjiang turned around, looking smug as he said, Brothers, the competition is starting. Show yourselves. Immediately afterward, three people appeared behind him. Zhao Shenjiang, exuding confidence, looked at Lin Qi's group. At that moment, Kin Han suddenly realized something and murmured to himself, why do I feel like these three people are very familiar? Then Kin Han was startled and exclaimed, I know who they are. They are the champion and runner-up of the W World Championship, and the other one is Huang Wangki, the champion of the C World Championship. These people are all experts. Lai Xu Han also turned to speak quietly to Lin Qi. They are all top racers in that organization, especially July and Huang Wangki. They are probably the top figures in the country. Their skills are very strong. Lin Qi was slightly taken aback, a calm smile appearing on his lips. He turned to Xu Han and asked, How much do you know about them? Xu Han pondered and said, If you want to win against them, you could only take advantage of one thing. They are not familiar with the cars for this competition. Qin Han angrily looked at Zhao Zhenyang and shouted, That's despicable. Knowing we can't refuse to race, you bring in outsiders to compete. Zhao Zhenyang replied slightly, If you're scared... Just say so directly, it saves time. Just hand over the cars to us and it'll be done. After finishing his words, he suddenly turned to look at Lin Qi and Lai Su Han in shock. Zhao Zhenjiang shouted to Lin Qi, Get out of the way. Don't stand next to me. You take her over to Qin Han's side of the stands. Immediately after, Lin Qi covered his mouth and burst out laughing. Ha 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 ha. Is there something wrong with your brain? This entire racetrack belongs to me. How dare you talk about where I should stand? Zhao Zhenjiang angrily retorted, Lin Qi, is the Zhanghai racetrack yours? Duan Peng, standing at a distance, was also astonished and thought to himself, what kind of person is Dr. Lin after all? Kin Han immediately put his arm around Lin Qi's shoulder, pulling him away while saying, all right, why pay attention to him? Let's quickly discuss our strategy. 
While Zhao Zhenyang was fuming, he could only grit his teeth and watch the two of them. Lin Qi stepped in front of the remaining group and said, Mr. Lying, please be a little more forgiving. Then he pointed to Chu Han standing behind and smiled, saying, Let my friend take a few laps. Chu Han was taken aback, surprised to look at Lin Qi and asked, Are you really going to let me take a few laps? Lin Qi smiled at Chu Han and pointed at her, saying, Aren't you really into it? Since you're here, of course you should take a few laps to satisfy yourself. Besides, there's no need to change anything with your car. Kexu Han's face was filled with disbelief as she asked Lin Qi again, How can you trust me so much? Lin Qi suddenly leaned closer to Xu Han, surprising her. He said, I trust you very much. Xu Han felt her face flush because of him. Just then, Kin Han appeared and interrupted their conversation. Okay, you two stop flirting. It's time to discuss the competition. Losing the car isn't a big deal, but I can't handle this guy. Lin Qi turned to Chin Han, confidently raising his fingers and said, There's nothing to discuss. The first round will definitely be Zhao Shenyang. So Chin Han, you run the first round. Gao will take the second round, and Director Lai will run the third round. The final round is mine, I guarantee we'll get everything back. More than 10 minutes later, two cars, one white and one black, stood at the starting line. The girl in the pink tank top paired with a white skirt and matching high heels stood in front of the two cars, holding up a black and white checkered flag. She loudly counted down, and Zhao Shen Yang looked extremely confident. On the other side, Kin Han was very tense. After the girl in the tank top counted down to one second, go. Both cars raced down the track, their speeds almost equal, fast as the wind. Meanwhile, in the waiting area, Wang Wonky's orange car and Xu Han's yellow car were parked next to each other. Huang Wonky leaned over the car window and mischievously said to Xu Han, Beautiful lady here in your car, it must have been modified. How about adding me on WeChat? I can teach you how to drive better. Xu Han, her hands on the steering wheel, calmly replied, I am the head of the Department of Foreign Affairs at Hua Xian Hospital. I could inflict hundreds of cuts on you, and the final result would only be a minor wound. If you don't believe me, you can give it a try. Huang Wonki was taken aback and frightened by this, no longer daring to teeter. When the traffic light turned green, the two cars, one orange and one yellow, sped down the road next to the ancient grandstand where the audience's discussions could be heard. A female racer remarked, That girl is really formidable. She can keep pace with Huang Wonki. At that moment, Kin Han stood next to Lin Qi, raising his hand to shield his eyes while watching the race. He said, Lin, the girl you've just flirted with is impressive. That car is much stronger than Gao's and must be well maintained. Lin Qi, standing beside him, also smiled in satisfaction. Zhao Zhenyang, who was nearby watching the match, rubbed his chin and confidently stated, Huang Wonki isn't even serious yet. If he were serious, he finished three laps at least ten seconds ahead of you. Hearing this, Lin Qi and Qin Han's expressions darkened. Lin Qi said to Zhen Yang, That's right. Did you manage to drive all 11 cars here? One second is one car, you know. I still need to time the run. Zhen Yang replied angrily, What makes you think you can beat us by 11 seconds? Stop dreaming and wake up. When the traffic light turned red, the red car overtook the blue car and finished the race. Lin Qi was already sitting in the car, feeling very pleased with the corners of his mouth raised, tapping his fingers on the steering wheel. The supercar rolled forward and sped down the road. Huang Wonki arrogantly walked in, raised a hand, and said nonchalantly yet dramatically, Zhen Yang, I'm sorry. I could only beat you by three seconds. I have to admit that woman has some skills. Zhen Yang, leaning against the railing, confidently replied, It's fine. Given Ji Li's ability, gaining another four seconds won't be a problem. Zhen Yang chuckled with a confident expression. All twelve cars they drove here today must be taken away. Suddenly, from below the racing track at the curve, a shiny black car burst forward, accelerating ahead. Huan Wonki exclaimed, Oh shit, what's going on? After the shock from both Huan Wonki and Zhen Yang, Kin Han's eyes lit up as he looked at the track and said, Jin Lai is a professional, but he managed to catch up by 8 seconds in just one lap. Lai Xu Han, with sparkling eyes full of admiration, said, That speed is truly unimaginable. But in the second lap, he has already surpassed you by 9 seconds. The scoreboard has not changed yet. Zhen Jinang looked up with a worried expression, trying to reassure himself. Lin Qi was still speeding ahead, the car was very close to the finish line. Kin Han excitedly shouted, Lin is approaching the finish line, come on, cross it. As long as he crosses, we win. Zhen Jinang quickly regained his confidence and said, Qin Han, stop dreaming. I see his car is broken. There's no way he can get to the finish line. With the way he's driving, no car can withstand that. It must be about to explode. Kin Han and Xu Han were both anxious, staring at that car. 
But contrary to Zhen Yang's predictions, the car that Lin Qi was driving swiftly and spectacularly crossed the finish line. Zhen Yang was panicked. Even Qin Han was unexpectedly shocked. Qin Han quickly shouted in excitement, Oh my god, what is happening? I can't believe it. He's timing it perfectly. It was exactly 11 seconds. Because the FP club had brought exactly 11 cars today. Zhen Yang's face quickly turned pale, and Huang Wanqi's face was not much better than Zhen Yang's, awkwardly saying, No way, that's just too monstrous. Then suddenly, from all over the stands, the spectators, witnessing their wager, shouted in unison, Deliver the car! Deliver the car quickly! Deliver the car! Causing Zhen Yang to be so shocked that he spat out blood. Huang Wanqi quickly supported Zhen Yang, anxiously saying, Brother Zhao, are you okay? What should we do now? Zhen Yang hurriedly wiped the blood from his mouth, his face pale and struggling to speak. What else can we do? Quickly hand over the car keys. Zhen Yang was extremely unhappy, handing the car keys to Lin Qi. Lin Qi said playfully, From now on, the title of the most famous young master in Zhonghai will no longer include your names. One hand juggling, playing with the car keys. Qin Han sneered, returning Zhen Yang's earlier disdainful gaze. Zhen Yang angrily turned away and said, Let's go. But Lin Qi didn't stop there. He added with a mysterious and unreadable expression a statement that made Zhen Yang spit out blood for the second time. Don't leave so quickly. Today is so lively. If we don't have a fire to spice things up, it will be really boring. Choose this car, consider it a send-off for young Master Zhao. Zhen Yang looked like he was about to explode, but he could only create a scene. He turned back and shouted, Just wait. Huang Wang Qi was pale as a sheet, shocked and speechless, thinking, What is Lin Qi's position? A wealthy person like him, why is he still working as a doctor in the hospital? Could it be because of Su Han? No matter how noisy or dying the others were, Lin Qi took out his phone and called, Hello? The person on the other end said, Don't go to work tomorrow, I'll pick you up at 10 a.m. There's a shipment of imported medicine ready to enter Zhonghai. I need you to check it out. That's lying, Ru Yu. Lin Qi mischievously winked and said, Such an important mission, and you're asking a small character like me to check it out? That's not very good. I'm just a surgeon, not as talented as you think. There was a brief silence on the other end, and the voice continued, But the only person I can trust is you. Meanwhile, at a different location in the Jiang Nanchun Hotel, in Rue 1802, the presidential suite, Zhao Wen, the marketing director of the pharmaceutical company, was sitting relaxed in a bathrobe. He casually discussed the successful negotiations. A handsome and serious young man replied, We've negotiated the price with 13 specialists, and we've agreed on 289 per box. That was Meng Haking, Zhao Wen's assistant. Then Meng Haking made another announcement, but the costs for networking and so on have already used up nearly $10 million. Mr. He is probably very dissatisfied. Zhao Wen remained calm. Tell that bald guy not to worry. Whatever money we spend, I will earn back 10 times that amount. Then Zhao Wen threw a towel towards Meng Haking. He respectfully received it and bowed his head. Understood, boss lady Zhao. Do you need me to notify Fang's side? Zhao Wen gently took some lotion from a jar with her slender fingers, her voice still calm. No need, I will call them myself. Zhao Wen smoothly applied the lotion to a rather sensitive area, her mouth curling into a confident smile. In another place at the Yangshan Villa, a relaxed figure walked in. A young man with a two-part haircut sighed with a weary expression and said, Dad, why did you call me back urgently? I still have things to finish. The man standing in the dignified room was Fang Donghui, the leader of Donghang Pharmaceutical. He angrily said to the person in front of him, This kid, the negotiation for the drug price tomorrow has been finalized at $289 per box. We will receive an 8% agency fee. The young man with the two-part haircut doubted, Is that true or false? Ibuprofen is just a common drug. A 60 milligrams box lasts for a week. Four boxes in a month, who has enough money to buy that? Fang Donghui, angrily pinched his son's ear. This foolish boy. He continued to emphasize the importance of understanding. The higher the selling price, the more money we can make. The newly appointed global market director is very formidable. Tomorrow, you need to go and learn from them a bit. In pain from the pinch, the two-part haircut boy ran away hastily, shouting back, I know, I know. The next morning at Lin Qi's home, a car stopped right in front of him. It was Liang Ru Yu coming to pick him up. She turned to Lin Qi and said, Get in the car. After Lin Qi got in, Ru Yu handed him a bag of hot buns. Here you go. Lin Qi looked at the pastry and smiled, preparing a thoughtful breakfast. Ru Yu turned and pretended to have difficulty saying, You can't have it for free. You need to perform well later. As long as you can negotiate a reasonable price, I'll wear whatever you want me to show you once. Her face gradually turned red. It turned out that her strong attitude was to hide her shyness. 
Lin Ki took a bite of the pastry and suddenly said, Going big like that, what price do you want? Ru Yu firmly replied, 60 milligrams, $138 per box. She focused on driving, looking straight ahead. The car zoomed down the road as fast as an arrow. Lin Ki cheerfully said, I'll do my best. A conference room, which was formal and serious, was the destination for Ru Yu and Lin Ki. When someone saw their arrival, they greeted, Mayor Lang, you've arrived. Lin Ki quickly recognized that it was the son of the head of Dong Hang Pharmaceutical Company, and the other person seemed surprised to recognize Lin Ki as well. Ru Yu quickly responded, Everyone is being too polite. I see that everyone is already here. Let's get started. Wang Yong Sing, a member of the negotiation team, looked towards Ru Yu and Lin Ki with a doubtful expression, thinking, Who is this man? Why didn't Mayor Lion bring him here? Yong Sing sat with the Lion group, and Ru Yu stood up as the representative to start the meeting. Boss Lady Zhao, if your side is ready, we can start the negotiation now. I hope you can offer us a reasonable price. Zhao Wen raised her hand to speak confidently. Dear Mayor Liang, over the past few days, our company has conducted extensive research on the drug prices in the market. Ultimately, the most reasonable price we can offer is $459 per box. Ru Yu and Lin Qi were both startled. Ru Yu looked fearful and noticeably pale. Lin Qi also noticed this and quickly took her trembling hand in his, gently reassuring her to remain calm. Ru Yu felt warm as if she had restored her usual working state. Yongxing continued to speak on behalf of the group. Boss Lady Zhao, you are the global market director of HR. Given the current situation in Huaxia, you are the one who understands it best. Ibuprofen is a drug for middle-aged and elderly people. We cannot accept such a high price. Zhao Wen replied seriously. This is the lowest price we can offer. I believe you experts understand the quality of this drug best. Therefore, when we present this price, it is not considered too high. Let me make a quick call to the company. Saying this, Zhao Wen took out her phone, quickly dialed a number, and went outside to take the call. Zhao Wen quickly turned back in. It was unclear what she had exchanged to come back so quickly. Zhao Wen cheerfully said, Leaders and experts, I just called headquarters to request a price reduction, and they have agreed to lower it to $398 per box. This is the lowest price we can offer. Yongxing firmly replied, If the price cannot go below $300, then not just myself, but all of us here cannot accept that price. If you insist on a price over $300, then there is no need for further negotiations. Let's stop here for today. When he said this, Yongxing glanced at Ru Yu with some concern. Lin Qi looked across the table, his gaze thoughtful and pensive. This woman's acting skills are really impressive. As Lin Qi thought, Zhao Wen stood there, her face radiant with determination, resolutely stating, Why should we prioritize money when facing illness? We should focus on the effectiveness of the treatment. I will call again to request one more time, but I can't guarantee that headquarters will agree. Suddenly, Ru Yu slammed her hand firmly on the table and said seriously, If you don't agree, then today's negotiation ends here. Zhao Wen still insisted, Mayor Liang, I have managed to get the price lowered. She held the phone in her hand, not knowing what she had requested the price reduction. $299 per box, it cannot be lowered any further. The head of the two rows hesitated to look at the woman on his side with such confidence. His thoughts were that this woman was indeed extraordinary, with many tricks up her sleeve. Ru Yu sat down and immediately caught the opponent off guard. I just said it needs to be lowered below $300, and you immediately dropped it to $299. Boss Lady Zhao really knows how to do business. Yongxing turned to Ru Yu and said, Mayor Liang, shall we discuss it as well? Ru Yu calmly nodded. All right, as soon as the words were spoken, Zhao Wen quickly stepped outside for the Huaxi team to consider the deal. Outside, Zhao Wen leaned against the door and smoked while Meng Heiking excitedly said beside her, Boss Lady Zhao, you lowered the price to $299, just $10 more than the previously agreed price. Does that mean you are confident of winning? That could create a lot of benefits for us. Zhao Wen turned to say, You fool, that $10 is to win over Liang Ru Yu. Doing business in Huaxia, if you don't have good relations with the leaders, it's very difficult to do business. Meng Heiting laughed in praise. Boss Lady Zhao is indeed the clever one. An assistant came out to announce, Boss Lady Zhao, you can continue the negotiations now. Zhao Wen quickly put out her cigarette and entered with Meng Heiking. As soon as they sat down, the meeting resumed immediately. Yongxing spoke up first. Boss Lady Zhao, our Mayor Lying. Yongxing spoke assertively. Zhao Wen looked worried and said, To be honest, Mayor Lying, we cannot agree to that price. However, due to your status, we are willing to give up our maximum profit, $10. Ru Yu subtly turned to poke Lin Qi. Lin Qi, do you have any comments? However, 
He did not respond. Ru Yu called out again. Lin Qi. Then she realized that Lin Qi was not unable to hear, but rather incapable of hearing. In the solemn atmosphere of the meeting room, he was soundly sleeping. Ru Yu hurriedly shook Lin Qi awake. Lin Qi woke up from his dozing state, startled, and said, Ha! Huh, is the negotiation over? Then he stretched, yawned widely, and spoke in a sleepy tone. I'm sorry I had surgery yesterday, so I'm still quite tired. Just needed a little nap to regain my strength. Everyone in the meeting room was stunned, at a loss for words at Lin Qi's nonchalant attitude. Ru Yu turned and reported the situation. The negotiation is over. It's $289 per box. Lin Qi suddenly asked, You're agreeing to that price? Ru Yu hesitantly looked at Lin Qi and said, But they stated that this is the lowest price they can offer, and it can't be lower. Then Lin Qi suddenly slammed the table, stood up, and said seriously, But it isn't the price you expected $138. At $289, that's $1156 a month. Are you planning to profit off this land of Hoaxia? Zhao Wen gradually lost her patience, her face clearly showing frustration and anger. Mr. Lin, I hope you can look at this issue from a professional perspective. The cost of raw materials, production costs, and transportation costs on the part of HR Pharmaceuticals are very high. Lin Qi calmly stepped up to the whiteboard placed in the bean room. He took a pen and began to write something. After a short time, the whiteboard was filled with his handwriting. Lin Qi leaned on his notes and explained the main ingredients of this ibuprofen drug include a three-component sopropalamino combined with 20 toshiatin, nopsir, and several other substances that I have clearly listed here. In reality, to complete the formulation of this drug, the cost doesn't exceed $6. Are you transporting it via rocket or something for the transportation cost to be so high? Sao Wen had certainly never anticipated a scenario like this, she and the young man beside her were pale, worried, thinking in their minds. With such professional knowledge, how could he know this? Lin Qi smiled and said, You are from HR, so you understand the cost better than I do. Compared to my offer, let's settle on a price of $10, free shipping. This is our proposal. If you agree, we can sign the contract immediately. If not, we will leave. Dao Wen exploded in anger, almost shouting, The price you offered is simply unreasonable and unacceptable. Mayor Lang, we hope for a pleasant negotiation, but the advisor beside you is an outsider and knows nothing. Lin Qi was calm, showing no signs of panic, and her smile gradually became ruthless, exposing Zhao Wen's words. Am I talking nonsense? You called so many people here to put on a show. Have you thought we were all fools this whole time? This is the Huaxia market, and we will only accept that price. One person from Zhao Wen's side spoke sharply, then put on the friendliest face he could muster and said, Mayor Lion, we are the HR agency's business representatives. I normally wouldn't have the right to speak, but your advisor clearly knows nothing at all and just excels at nonsense. If he continues to make a fuss like this, then today's negotiation will be hard to continue. Ru Yu confidently spoke up, calm and composed, but he is the top cardiovascular surgery expert in Zhanghai. It's not quite accurate to say he is an outsider. Everyone present was left speechless in shock. Nevertheless, Zhao Wen remained stubborn, even if he is the top cardiovascular surgery expert, he has no right to interfere in the field of drug formulation. Ru Yu was becoming a bit impatient, slamming the document on the table. She confidently stated, But $10 is the final price we are offering. If that's the case, then this meeting is over. Lin Qi's gaze towards Ru Yu was filled with pride. Zhao Wen panicked. Mayor Liang, if that's the case, then we won't have any medication from our side in HR. Are you really putting the entire negotiation into his hands? Ru Yu firmly responded, He certainly doesn't have the authority to finalize the price, but I do have many doubts regarding the medication's pricing. Lin Qi concluded, You are also from our country. There are many patients in Zhanghai, and you know that best. The price I offered already includes a profit. You'll be able to earn a considerable profit in this Hua Xia market. Zhao Wen remained stubborn, but no pharmaceutical company would do that. It seems she won't give in that easily. Lin Qi calmly and cheerfully departed then prepare to cut off business relations in this Hua Xia market. Upon hearing this, Zhao Wen was alarmed. She hurriedly turned back to speak, her voice filled with concern. Mayor Liang, I hope we can set another date to continue the negotiation. Ru Yu replied, then three days from now. Zhao Wen watched their departing figures, filled with anger. 